The third season of the genre of bending Stranger Things is dropping on Netflix on July 4, 2019, leaving behind the Halloween in 1984 setting of season 2 in favor of the summer sun of 1985. The mind flare has been confined back in the upside down, but that doesn't mean our favorite Hawkins residents won't have new monsters, both of the upside down variety and human, to confront. The Duffer brothers wear their influences on their sleeves in this unique mashup of 80s nostalgia, sci-fi, coming of age, and horror. There's no shortage of Easter eggs to spot, but the influences can be felt throughout both in style and story. For season 3, the Duffer brothers have promised the grossest season yet. The showrunners have teased that they're drawing inspiration from the master of body horror, David Cronenberg, John Carpenter's The Thing, and even a bit of George A. Romero this round. Of course, it'll hardly be the first time the series pays tribute to horror movies and horror masters, so in preparation of what's shaping up to be the goriest season yet, we look back at the horror influences that have shaped Stranger Things so far. Season 1 Firestarter and Carrie it should surprise no one that Stephen King was a major influence on the Duffer brothers growing up, and therefore played a huge role in this series. Eleven's psychokinetic and telepathic abilities draw from Firestarter's Charlie McGee and Carrie White. Altered State's isolation tank that Eleven was submerged in during flashback sequences were inspired by Altered State. The film served as a key reference point for production designer Chris Trujillo. Under the skin when the sensory deprivation tank works, enhancing Eleven's abilities, she's shown in an all-black space standing on water. The imagery is directly inspired by Under the Skin. Poltergeist like Diane Freeling's ability to communicate with her ghost nap daughter Carol Ann by way of white noise of the TV and walls, Joyce is able to communicate to Will through a string of Christmas lights and radios. Let the right one and there are parallels in the budding romance between Mike and Eleven and Oscar and Eli, in that both boys are bullied and befriend slash fall for a powerful girl who's more than they seem. There's also the scene that features Mike playing with a Rubik's Cube while waiting on Eleven. The Rubik's Cube is a major symbol of friendship between Oscar and Eli. A Nightmare on Elm Street a major formative film on the Duffer Brothers, they tried to recreate the feeling of dread from Wes Craven's seminal film.